Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so um, we got two things we got to cover today. Um, like I said, they're both pretty lightweight. You do need a ruler, um, which means I can't find mine. Oh, there it is. Good. Okay. Um, okay, so the two things we're going to be talking about are um, angle, side, relationships. This marker's already kicking it. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're sorting the sides and angles. Yeah, like who's the biggest side, who's the biggest angle, who's the smallest side, who's the smallest angle. Like I said, not a lot of math in this one, man. All right. Um, and the other one we're going to be doing uh, after that is, um, does it make a triangle? And just to give you like a preview of what I'm talking about, like, let's say I had uh, three segments and they were 100 units long, one unit long, and two units long. Do you think that that would, like, if I tried to make a triangle out of those three little like this giant piece and these two little pieces do you think it would actually make a triangle like think about that a hundred and one and two <laughs> that's that's not going to make a triangle right so we're going to find out what it takes to make a triangle okay so this one is a no <laughs> And we'll find out the rules when we get to it. It's pretty easy. All you're doing is adding and subtracting a couple of numbers. All right, so let's get to it. Sorting of angles and sides. So um, I'm just going to draw uh, like a, a generic triangle here, OK? Now, if you're going to follow, if you're going to copy this down in your notes, um, try to make this look um, kind of like mine so that we can uh, talk about it and you can look at your notes and you'll know what the heck you're talking about when you look at it later. Okay, I'm gonna call this A, B, and C. Okay. So my first question to you is, I got, well, I got these three angles, right? A, B, and C, okay? And just so that we can all kind of put our brain around it a little bit, uh, I'm just going to turn this around so that we can all look at this triangle from all the directions, um, kind of get an idea about what it is. You know, it almost looks like a right angle right there, almost, maybe a couple of degrees more, who knows? All right. Um, I got this little narrow angle right here. And, you know, and then I got this kind of middle size angle right about here, something like that. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, let me ask you this. In the chat, I want you to tell me what angle, A, B, or C, which one, is the biggest angle? So I got a lot of people agreeing with me that angle B is the biggest, okay? So if you look at the others, like that one's not opened up as much as that one is, okay? And this one's only opened up a little bit, right? That's not open, that's a tiny little angle right there. But, you know, this one's opened up a bit, but this one's pretty wide open. Okay, so angle B, is your biggest angle. And you know, and if you really were to like put a protractor to it, you would see, like I said, it's like a little bit above 90. Okay. It's like maybe 91, 92, something like that. Okay. But this guy over here, you know, he's like 63, 62 degrees, you know, so he's not as big. Right. And then this guy down here, he's tiny, right. You know, and I mean, he's a, uh, is that like, I got the glare on it, but let me see if I can kill the glare. Yeah, that's like 25 degrees or something like that, right? Okay, 
So B is my biggest, and that's the that's my point. Um, this is my big. I'm just gonna write that in here. Okay. Now, um, okay. So looking at A and C, which one is the next biggest? Okay, getting a lot of you know solid answers in the chat. This is good. Yeah, almost. I mean, I think we're all agreeing that A is the next biggest angle. Okay, you know, it's like opened up a bit more. Like we said, it was like sixty something degrees, and that one's like you know twenty five or something. So this is my. I'm gonna call this the middle angle. Okay, and you know because process of elimination. This is my smallest, okay. So, you know, I mean like, you know, we got like, you know, papa bear, mama bear, baby bear, right? You know, big, middle and small. Okay, now I want you to start looking at the three sides, okay? I got this side, A, B, I got this side, B, C, and then I got that side, A, C. Okay, so I got three sides, A, B, B, C, A, C. Now, in the chat, which one of these sides is the biggest? So remember, I got to have two letters, where it starts and where it stops. Okay. So, I mean, even without putting a ruler to it, I mean, I could, I'll, I'll just put a ruler to it just so that we can see it. So like this one's like 16 centimeters long. This one's like... 14 centimeters long. And this one is like almost seven centimeters long. Okay. So the biggest is AC. All right. So I'm going to use a different color just so that y'all can see it a little better. So AC is my big. All right, looking at the other two, I got AB and I got BC. Who's the next biggest? Okay. Getting good, solid answers in the chat. This is good. All right, I think everybody's agreeing that this guy, BC, is bigger than that guy, AB. We're all agreeing with this. So this is my middle. And by process of elimination, this is my smallest. Okay, oops, all right. So take a quick look. Look at where the big and the big and the middle and the middle and the small and the small are and see if you can kind of come up with an idea about where things are related to each other. Like small angles, small sides, big angles, big sides. What do you notice? There's no wrong answers here, guys. That's cool. Okay, good. They're opposite each other, right? Like the big is opposite the big. 
you know, like take a look at that. The big angle is opposite the big side, right? And the middle angle is across or opposite from the middle side. And the small guy is across from the small side. That's the big idea, guys. That's it. That's the whole idea. So copy that down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to sort them. Okay, I'm going to show you what what the problems are going to look like. This is the idea. Now I'm going to show you what the problems look like. Give me a thumbs up when you got all that copied. Okay, so here's an example. I'm going to draw a triangle, and you know what? It's not going to be, um, it's it's not going to be perfectly drawn. In fact, I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, it's not going to be accurate because what I'm going to do? Well, I'm going to put, I'm going to, I'm going to label it. I'm going to call it. Uh, C A T with a T. And I'm going to tell you that this is a 60 degree angle, this is a 70 degree angle, and this is a 50 degree angle. These are all angle marks. Okay. So the question would ask something like this. Um, Okay, so I'm looking for it, the one I want the first is the small guy. So I'm going to look at my three angles. My 50 is my smallest, right? So I'm going to get another color here. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. If the 50 is my smallest, that means who, which side, is the smallest side. AC. Someone said it. It was really quiet. AC. Yes. If this is the small, I'm just going to eh, small, tiny. If that's the small, this is the small. See what I mean? So AC is smaller than okay remember you get your you know your uh, inequality symbols right okay who's the middle side 60 okay so the 60 is the smallest angle oh, sorry the middle angle 
So this is the middle side. And that's a T. And then finally, he's the biggest angle. So this guy is the big side. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if you understand how that happened. Okay, so let's do another one. Everyone cool with the copy? Everyone's copied? Okay, all So you always got to read the directions, you know, which one do they want first? Do they, are they going from small to big or are they going from big to small? Okay. And, you know, and I'll tell you, you know, I, I, I watch kids over many, many years doing these problems and most kids, if they, if they know what they're doing, it, if they make a mistake, it's because they didn't read it carefully. Okay. So you always just got to watch out and see what the order that they want the answer in. Okay. So take a second and i'll tell you you know since we're going from biggest to smallest my inequality signs are going to look like that you know you're going to have an answer here an answer here and an answer here okay so take a second and type it into the private chat what you think the answer is Okay, I think everybody has the idea, or at least a lot of you guys definitely have the idea, but I think what's happening is I think your symbols are goofing you, or at least some of you. Okay, so this is saying greater than, you know, let's just say, you know, you know, four is greater than three, you know. So four is greater than three. So, all right, so like that's how this symbol works. Okay, so let's take a look and say, who is the biggest angle? Well, that's pretty clear. This guy is your biggest angle, right? That's the hundred, it's definitely the biggest. So that means that this is my biggest. 
And so OD is the one I want first. Now the one the, of the two that are left, this is the one that's, you know, the next biggest. So that means this is the middle. And that's DG. And since this guy is my smallest, this is my smallest. So a lot, some of you guys got it right, and that's awesome. Some of you guys had the order perfectly reversed, okay? Um, and that would have been okay, but the problem is, is that your symbols are saying the different thing. You know, so you got to make sure that your symbols match up with the numbers, uh, with the size. The biggest, so OD is bigger than DG which is bigger than OG. Okay, let's try one more of that. Now, wait a second, I didn't give you the third angle. Can we find that third angle? Can anyone tell me what that third angle is? We learned it last class. Six and five. How did you do it? I subtracted 180 and then the two numbers. There you go. So 180 is the whole triangle, right? And then you take away the two, one, the two angles you don't want, and you'll be left with just this guy. And she's right, it's 65. So now that we know that it's 65, I'm just going to write it in there. OK. Great. Now you can answer the question. Okay, looking good. Good answers so far, keep it up. I like all my answers, keep them coming people. All good answers in the chat, I love it. Let's keep it going. Maybe one or two more. Come on, guys, you can do it. Okay, so my biggest of my three numbers, this is my biggest. So this is my biggest. Big is across from big. OP is bigger than 
Well, look at who's left. This is my next biggest. So he's in the middle. That's the middle size. That's the middle, that's the middle length. And you're right, I could say SP or PS, it doesn't matter. You know, we can switch those letters, that's cool. You know, this could be PO instead of OP and that's fine, you know. And then finally, my last side is across from my small angle is gonna be my small side, OF. Okay, good. Okay, scale of one to five, how do we feel? What about the rest of y'all? Come on now. How are we feeling? We got a little more to go. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now, um, now we're just going to do it in the other direction. Take a look. So now I'm telling you how long the sides are, okay? So BK is seven, KW is eight, and BW is 10. So this is working the exact same idea, but you're given the sides and you now you need to give me the angles. So find the smallest side and he's gonna be across from the smallest angle. Okay, so they want the largest angle first, right? The largest angle, um, the largest angle is gonna be across from the largest side. So my largest side is 10, so K is my largest angle. And it's bigger than the middle side, the middle angle, which is across from the middle side. And my smallest side is across from my smallest angle. Okay. Now, that's the same idea. It's just doing it backwards. Okay. How about, one second, um, okay. I'm just gonna do one more like that and then, um, and then we'll do one that's a little weird, okay? Um,
Getting good answers in the chat, which is good. Good, and you, I, I like the fact that people are using the right symbols. This is good. The smallest is across from the smallest. So that's my S. And it's smaller than the middle, which is this guy. And that's G. And he's smaller than the biggest. So that's M. Good. All right. Awesome. Good deal. Very nice. Like, I love the answers. And I love that you're using the right symbols. This is great. Okay. Now, I'm going to throw one at you that, oh, by the way, to just kind of remind us a little bit about last class, uh, don't worry about this for a second. Just look at this picture. If you had to classify this triangle based upon its sides, what is this guy? Is it, is it uh, isosceles? Is it uh, equilateral? Is it scalene? What is this guy? All of them are different, right? What do we call a triangle where all the sides are different? Right, good. Scalene. This is a scalene triangle. Awesome. Okay, cool. Good. All right. So now I'm going to give you this triangle. Oops, kind of a lousy picture already. Okay. I'm trying to make it look kind of accurate. Okay. Looking at your notes from yesterday, last class, not yesterday, last class. What kind of a triangle is this? What do you call a triangle that has two sides that are the same length? Yeah, it's it's hard to spell. You know what? When I when I became a geometry teacher, I had to work really. I'm not the best speller. Um, I had to work hard on getting the spelling of this word down. Yeah, this is isosceles. Okay. All right. Now, if I wanted to list the angles from smallest. to largest. Now, to do that, this is the little different because they're not all different, right? I've got, well, I think we all can agree that that's the smallest side. So this is the smallest angle. I think we're all good on that, right? Yeah, okay. So I is smaller than now, these two are the same. So according to all of the thinking that we've been doing, what do you think about angles S and angles O? Because those are the ones that are across from these two sides. What do you think about those two angles? Take a guess. You know, I mean, if these two are the same size, could one of these be bigger than the other? And let's look at even my lousy, my lousy picture. See, it's a really lousy picture. What do you think? Yeah, if these two are, are the same, then these two are the same. 
And what we would say is angle S is equal to angle O. So when you see an equal sign, this is telling you, you have an isosceles triangle. Now, just to prove to you visually what I'm talking about, first of all, copy this down because this is different or a little different. But the idea is, is that in an isosceles triangle, we know you've got two sides that are the same, but we also now know that you've got two angles that are the same. And I'm going to show that to you really cool, really, really quickly in a nice way, I hope. Okay, check this out. This is kind of cool. You don't have to copy this. Just watch me, all right? So this side is the same as that side, okay? And if I take my protractor, which I just lost, so that one is 53 degrees. And so is that one can't really see with the glare, but there it is, 53 degrees. And I'll do that just one more time so you can see how that, why that, I'll do it with a real narrow one so it'll look kind of cool. And you can see it, this angle and this angle are the same size. See how that works? So if you have two sides that are the same in an isosceles triangle, then you have two angles that are also the same. And by the way, these angles, and this is a good vocabulary word for you to write down, are called base angles. So here's your takeaway idea.
two equal sides and two equal angles. Okay, copy that down. Give me a thumbs up when you got that copied. Okay. All right. Now I want to do one or two problems that may that you might run into later on and you know I don't want you being all confused about how to do them. Okay? Same idea though. Okay. All good? Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so in this one, I didn't give you a picture. So here's what you do. You make a picture. You draw a, a silly looking triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect, pretty at all. Here's the deal. You've got triangle X, Y, Z. So I'm just gonna make a triangle. I'm gonna call it X, Y, Z. Now, so this is the whole thing about word problems. You don't try and understand the whole thing at once. You walk through it and you write it down. X, Y is seven. So X, Y is seven. Y, Z is five. And X, Z is 10. Now you've got your picture. Okay, so you draw it, even if they don't give it to you, you make it yourself. And now you can tell me what the angles are from smallest to greatest. Getting some good answers in the chat. Keep it up. Couple more. Smallest angle to biggest angle. Smallest angle is going to be across from the smallest side. Uh huh. Good answers in the chat. Couple more, people. Okay, good, 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 good. So five is my smallest, so X is my smallest. And that is smaller than, next biggest is across from the next biggest. And Y is the last one, because he's the biggest. Good, 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 good. All right, scale of one to five, how do we feel?
on to the next topic. Now, um, okay, question, okay. So here's the way it works. I'm gonna give you three sides, three lengths, okay? And we're gonna figure out if it really is a triangle or not, okay? So here's how, we, here's how it goes. It's really quite simple. The th I'm just gonna make, give you three numbers right now. I'm gonna give you seven, five, and eight. So these are the sides of a triangle, okay? Or maybe it's a triangle, maybe it's not. So here's how you do it. You pick two of them. I usually pick the first two, okay? It doesn't really matter which ones you pick, but pick the first two because it's easiest. Now, you're gonna draw your inequality symbols like this, always, 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 always. Your symbols look like this for this problem. They always point to the left. Now, you're gonna take these two numbers and you're gonna subtract them. So you don't wanna do five minus seven because that gives you a negative number, right? We don't want a negative number in this because like it doesn't make sense to have a negative length, right? You know, what is negative five miles, right? That doesn't make any sense, right? So seven minus five is two. And then over here, I want you to add them up. Take the seven and the five and add them up. And you get 12. And then the third number, you put him in the middle. So now you look at what you have. So I subtracted them, I added them, the first two numbers subtracted them, and then added them. And then I took the third number and I put it in the middle. And now we ask ourselves, is this true? Is two smaller than eight? Yes. Is eight smaller than 12? Yes. So yes, this is a triangle. That's all you have to do. Let's do another one. So I'm gonna leave this one up here for a second and we'll do 10, four and 16. Okay. So we start with the symbols. Take your first two numbers, subtract them, and add them. So if I subtract 10 and four, I get six. And if I add 10 and four, I get 14. Then you take your third number, and you put it in the middle. And now you ask yourself, is this true? Somebody unmute and tell me, is this true? Well, six is less than 16, but is 16 less than 14? No. No. So no, this fails. This does not make a triangle. Let's do this one.
So let's take the first two. 10 and 10. If I subtract 10 and 10, what do I get? Somebody on mute and tell me what I get. 10 minus 10. I should be hearing like 15 people screaming a number at me right now. What is 10 minus 10? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Thank you. And 10 plus 10? 20. 20. Thank you. And now I'm going to take my third number and I'm going to stick it in the middle. Is this true? Yes. Yes. Zero is less than three and three is less than 20. This passes. Yes. It is a triangle. How are we feeling about this? Scale of one to five, walk me through it. Come on, guys. How are we doing? Yeah, I told you at the beginning of class today, you're not doing a lot of numbers today. I mean, this is it. I mean, you're adding you're adding and you're subtracting, you know, I mean, is that, you know, I, I can't do much better than that. Okay. <laughs> it's about as good as it comes when it comes to not doing numbers in math class. All right, let's do another one. All right. Put your inequality in the uh, chat and tell me, is it true or is it false? Don't forget to tell me if it's true or if it's false. So I'm going to take my first two numbers. I'm going to subtract them and get four. And then I'm going to add them and I'm going to get 20. 
And then I'm going to take the third number and I'm going to put them in the middle. And then you ask yourself, is this true? Are they going in order, basically, for 19, 20? I mean, like four is smaller than 19, yes. 19 is smaller than 20, yes. So yes. This is a triangle. So let's do this one. So I take six and 12 and I subtract them and I get six. And then I add them and I get 18. And then I put the third number in the middle. Now you ask yourself, is this true? In the private chat, tell me true or false. Everyone who's put answers in the chat has gotten it right. Somebody unmute and tell me why is it false? Why is this not true? Because 18 is not greater than 18. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I don't have a bar under this or anything like that. 18 is not less than 18. They're equal. This is, this is not true. So this is not a triangle. This is false. It fails, fa false, not true, um, not a triangle. Yeah, 18, good answer, Nehemiah. Yeah, 18 can't be bigger than 18. Exactly, they're not, yeah, this, this, is, this is why it's garbage, okay? Okay, watch out for that. Sometimes people, you know, just go really fast and they're like, oh yeah, cool, yeah, whatever. And, you know, slow down and, you know, yeah, that's, that's not true. Okay, we, we, we still good? Give me a thumbs up if we still feel good. Okay. Okay. Last one. It's even easier because there's nothing really to do except what you've been doing here. Um, Sometimes you'll see this question written. Okay, so here's what's happening. I'm giving you two sides. I'm giving you 10 and seven. And I'm not giving you the third, you know, like before. I'm only giving you the first two. And you don't know the third one. So what you do is exactly the same thing. You add them and subtract them, three and 17. And you just put an X in the middle and you're done. Because you don't know what it is, right? It could be any number in between three and 17. This is it, game over, end of problem. That was really hard. It could be any number. It could be, th it, and that's the thing, you know, it could be 3.1, it could be five, it could be 10, it could be six, it could be 16.99. You know, it could be anything in between these two. And that's all they want you to, to write. That is all you do. You put that done down and you are finished.
you're all waiting for like, you know, well, what what's making it hard? Well, nothing. You're done. Watch. Let's do another one. So your answer is a range of numbers. It's it's a it's it's an interval of numbers. Okay. It's some number. You don't know what it is. Call it X. And it's got to be between seven, because that's you know eleven minus four, and fifteen. And it could be any number. And that's it. That's what they wanted and you're done. Copy that down. And I'll ask you one more. So LM, since they gave it a name, you see here, they didn't give it anybody any names. So I just called it X, but here they gave it a name. And those are my two sides. So go in the private chat and put in this, put in the number, the symbol, the letters, the, the symbol and the numbers, write the whole thing in there and put it in the private chat for me, please. Looking good. Looking good. Happy to see it, guys. Couple more answers. Put them in there for me. happy with everything that's coming in the chat. So yeah, 12 and five, I subtract them and I get seven and then I add them and I get 17 and you're done. All right, that's it guys. We're done. So in the private chat, Tell me how you feel about everything you've learned today. Scale of one to five, 
and then go and hope for snow. Have a great weekend. Have a good day. Thank you so much.